Well, the Yankees off Mondays, we mentioned. They start a series Tuesday night at the stadium against the Blue Jays. And it is Corey. What will he do for an encore Kluber pitching? Of course, his last time out, pitched the 12th regular season no-hitter in Yankees history. And uh, nine perfect, on uh, near-perfect innings, nine strikeouts. As I'm looking at that graphic, Bob, I'm trying to put my head inside of the Blue Jays hitters' minds and wondering, do you even want to watch video of what Kluber <laughs> did in his last start because he was so dominant, but yet you need the information? So I'm going to answer my own question. I'm sure that the Blue Jays are going to watch video of what Kluber did in his last start, and what they're going to see is a pitcher who was brilliant. His curveball slash breaking ball whatever you want to call it, just had incredible movement. It was moving like a boomerang. Batters couldn't figure it out. They were 0 for 12. The Rangers were against that pitch. Late in the game, he started to add a changeup. And, Bob, he was so efficient pitching that no-hitter on only 101 pitches. And that just adds to how good he has been lately. His last five starts, 4-0 with an ARA of under two. So he is not a question mark anymore. When he came and signed with the Yankees and only thrown one inning last year, so there was some talk about, well, what kind of pitcher he is going to be? I think he is showing he is going to be a reasonable facsimile of the pitcher who once won two Cy Young Awards. Looking forward to seeing what he can do on Tuesday night and how he'll follow up that no-hitter.